Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's crosshair passage comes from Philippians 2, 9 through 11, which says, Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow to those in heaven and to those on the earth and to those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Daily Fire thought for today is that we dare not neglect the task of evangelism. Branding the Word passages for today is Philippians 2, 9 through 11 and 2 Timothy 4, 5. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is 1 Kings 17, Colossians 4, Ezekiel 47, and Psalm 103. Today we're going to be talking about singleness of heart. We dare not neglect the task of evangelism. I would rather use a method despised by men but approved by God than a met method approved by men that gets no results. I make no apology for this. I desire to share God's anointing on all those who are ready to step out in faith. My perspective runs hot, very hot. The flames can scorch. Some who read these pages, some who look at evangelists and pastors, would do well to take out fire insurance when they come around people that are walking in the anointed that they are so are, are given by God. For I guarantee you, many old concepts will set a torch ablaze. My message comes from singleness of heart. A singleness of heart. I hammer away at the Great Commission, for I know it cannot be overemphasized. I cry to God day and night for greater effectiveness in winning our generation for Him. Evangelism by fire is the only feasible solution I look for other anointed men and women who can take up that challenge for the Word of God, for the Holy Spirit and evangelism. I believe the best is yet to be. The time is coming soon when the whole world will resound with the praises of our God and our Savior. In all the nations and in every language, the day is almost here when every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, Philippians 2.11. God has taught me many things and has allowed me to experience much over the years. I am sharing this with you today for one reason and one reason alone, to inspire you to do the work of an evangelist. 2 Timothy 4, 5. I have laid out the principles necessary for a Holy Spirit ministry. Read this not to discover how I operate in my evangelistic crusades and in my pastoring abilities and the evangelism that goes on by many evangelists who travel this globe. But discover how God operates through anyone willing to follow His plan, and that means you and I. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.